أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل يا عبادي الذين أسرفوا على أنفسهم أسرفوا على أنفسهم لا تقنطوا من رحمة الله إن الله يغفر الذنوب جميعا إنه هو الغفور الرحيم وأنيبوا إلى ربكم وأسلموا له من قبل أن يأتيكم العذاب من قبل أن يأتيكم العذاب ثم لا تنصرون واتبعوا أحسن ما أنزل إليكم من ربكم أحسن ما أنزل إليكم من ربكم من قبل أن يأتيكم العذاب أن يأتيكم العذاب بغتة وأنتم لا تشعرون Sadaq Allah Al-Azim These are ayats from Surah Az-Zumar The ayah number 53 and 54 and ayah number 55 Actually we have began the ayah number 53 in the previous lecture and we will complete it insha'Allah this lecture Astaghidu Billah Qul ya ibadi alladhina asrafu ala anfusihim O my servants Say, O oh my servants, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala ordering him to say, behalf of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, quoting with him, Ya ibadi, ya, quoting from him, Ya ibadi alladhina asrafu ala anfusim, O oh my servants, who transgressed against themselves, who wasted the sins, the crimes, who did many, too much crimes, too much sins, asrafu ala anfusihim. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to inform us that all the sins the person does, uh, all of them is, uh, is against himself. Asrafu ala anfusihim. You cannot do a sin and harm the people or harm the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You will harm yourself. This uh, consequence will return to you. Asrafu ala anfusim. And you can see in Quran in many ayats, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describing them, ظلموا anfusahum, wrong themselves. وَمَنْ يَفْعَلْ ذَلِكَ فَقَدْ ظَلَمَ نَفْسَهُ And whoever does that, he wrongs himself. He causes injustice against himself. وَمَنْ يَفْعَلْ ذَلِكَ فَقَدْ ظَلَمَ نَفْسَهُ Because uh, the justice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ongoing everywhere and whenever somebody, someone uh, does anything wrong Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a result of his justice uh, brings the consequence the result of that uh, wrong uh, deed against the person who does that Asrafu ala. This is the rule of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah does not say, does not call his servants, O oh, my servants who wronged me, balamuni. He does not say that. Even if, uh, even if uh, the uh, human beings uh, does uh, do wrongs against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but the consequence of that wrong, the harm of that wrong, does not reach Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at all. We cannot harm him subhanahu wa ta'ala, but we can wrong him. We cannot, when we deny him, this is, we wrong him. When we do not accept him as the one who has all the favor over us, when we, can, when we do not acknowledge him as the one who is in control of all things, we wrong him. We do not give him his rights. We do not acknowledge uh, whatever he deserves. But we cannot wrong him, we cannot harm him, we cannot take that authority from him. Only we 
uh, do crime against ourselves uh, and we show that we are not the one who uh, acknowledge the truth we are we we can only show uh, to Allah and to the others and to ourselves that we are not the one who acknowledge who confess the truth when he uh, notice it and hence we are uh, in a trial in this life we Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala test us and what uh, no matter what or how many uh, sins uh, we do we cannot harm Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inna Allah ghaniyun anil alameen he is free of all worlds Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala free of all us he does not need us he does not need us to acknowledge him and to support him so be aware that we when we do something good we will receive the reward from that goodness Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will we cannot increase his kingdom or we cannot decree the uh, decree uh, decrease his kingdom in any way because subhanahu wa ta'ala he has already have all the power Malikil mulk he has uh, all the ownership and the quwa the power بيدhi alimu anna al quwata lillah jami'a we should know that the power entirely in the hand of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so we cannot give we cannot bring him something that he does not have it so asrafu ala anfusim whenever we sin whenever we crime we crime against ourselves we sin against ourselves and subhanahu wa ta'ala call us by saying all my servants who sinned against themselves who cried against themselves by wasting the sins it means that too much even if it likes the form of the tr of the seas Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls them la taqnatu min rahmatillah even forbi forbids them uh, that they cannot despite the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala la taqnatu min rahmatillah and as we talked about this uh, topic in the previous episode we said that there is no exception in this invitation Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala invites all the sinner all kind of sinner we cannot accept any sinner from this or any kind of sin from this invitation Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala invites them all to return to him to repent to him for example the biggest sin in Islam the sin of shirk when you associate some partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in worship or when you think that some people or some some things have some uh, share uh, from the judgment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this kind of uh, sin called in Islam shirk and it is unforgivable it is the most biggest sin in the shirk Luqman says to his uh, son in the shirk ya bunayya la tushrik billah oh my son do not attribute uh, a partner to Allah in a, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do not set up partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and know that in the shirk the the sin of shirk the shirk it's the biggest injustice you can do but even that injustice uh, I mean the shirk if you repent from it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and if you abandon uh, that shirk and seek for the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can forgive you so there is no exception but when uh, at that point we should ask what does it mean in Allah la bihi? if you die without repenting from shirk if you die and go to uh, before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with that sin without repenting from it then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say to you I can forgive you today all of your uh, sins 
but you came before me with shirk and without repenting from it you will not be forgiven inna allah la yaghfiru an yushraka bihi allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not forgive anyone who share some partners with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who associates some partners with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whether they are uh, inanimate or animates it doesn't differ if you set up partners with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then it is shirk allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says allah will not forgive them inna allah la yaghfiru an yushraka bihi but here allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says inna allah yaghfiru dhunuba jami'a some people allege that there is contradiction between these two ayah no there is not contradiction allah subhanahu wa ta'ala here in this ayah calling us calling those who are still live and you can read the ayah uh, after this ayah the ayah number 54 and the ayah number 55 allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says come come to me uh, return to me before the torment comes to you because after the torment comes to you you can never be forgiven and it's clear here that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives all the sins for those who are living, who are still alive and can repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But if we are talking about, af about after death, then we should know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not forgive the shirk. This is the only exception in Islam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do not forgive the sin of shirk if someone died as a mushrik with that sin uh, as a stubborn on that sin without acknowledging the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without returning back to him and seek for his, for his forgiveness if he dies as a mushrik then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not forgive him uh, forever so there is no any contradiction between these two ayats. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted us to know that do not die as a mushrik. And it's very important. Jacob alayhi salatu wa salam, when he was dying, إِذْ حَضَرَ يَعْقُوبَ الْمَوْتِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala narrating us about his death. Israel. He said to his uh, children, to his, uh, he said to them, إِذْ حَضَرِ يَعْقُوبِ إِذْ قَالَ لِبَنِيهِ He said to uh, his sons, مَا تَعْبُدُونَ مِنْ بَعْدِي What you are going to worship after me? He wanted, he wanted to be sure that they will worship Allah alone without associating anything with him. And they